is the Schmo with the pro with the head honcho of A1 Combat, the former WEC featherweight champion, the UFC Hall of Famer, the most alpha of all the alphas here on Team Alpha Male in the flesh, Sacramento, California, the California King, your eye favor. How we doing? I am doing excellent. That scared me for a second. I, I forgot. It went from out of into character. That was uh, startling to say the least. We appreciate that. Can't give away all the secrets here. By the way, great to see you again, Mr. Faber. Good to see you. Good to see you. How you been? Hey, the schmo can't complain. You got a lot of trained killers. You're a busy man. Between what? The bare knuckle stuff, then all the other promotions, the UFC, Bellator, A1. You got everything covered here. Yeah, this is a fight uh, environment. We've got guys repping on all parts of the planet, which is awesome. You come into practice in here, we probably have maybe 14, 15 different countries on a given Monday, uh, representing, beating each other up, and iron sharpening iron. It's a lot of fun. About four years since we last saw Super Sage Northcutt inside the cage. We're a week away from that big fight week. How do you feel like his nerves are right now at this very moment? Um, this moment, I feel like he is calm, cool, collective. That guy's competed since he was a tiny little kid. He's looked the same, same abs, same quads, same forearms, uh, and he knows how to compete. This guy is a, a natural-born athlete, but a, a great student, and he's going to have a great performance. The Schmo was looking at some reports recently. Davidson Figueredo, who you now manage, he was supposed to be going up to Bantamweight. He's got a fight with Manal Kopp, UFC 290 it's rumored, but it flyweight. I thought the former two-time flyweight champion was going up in weight. He's not going up in weight anymore? You know, I think, you know, when, when he went back home and started the training regimen, he's still healing up, by the way, so that's not 100% uh, signed and delivered on, on this fight. Uh... He just realized, you know, this is a big deal, the fight world, and he wants to give himself every advantage to win, and uh, and he can still make that weight. You know, three more fights, he said he feels comfortable in three more fights before he makes the move up, and why not? Uh, I think it's a smart move. So that fight's not a done deal yet, but do you feel like he is going to be fighting in the flyweight division, UFC 290 this summer, International Fight Week? Uh, I believe so, but, you know, we just have to make sure that all the... You know, everything's good with him, you know, and, and I know that uh, the weight cut is a long process for him, so he needs to make sure that he's healed and able to train like he'd like to before we 100% agree. The Schmo knows you were just speaking with Helen Yee Sports. We're talking about UFC 288, Henry Cejudo, El Jermaine Sterling. But do you think the winner of this fight has implications in the GOAT conversation for the greatest bantamweight of all time? Um, yeah, possibly. It's such a hard thing to say. Because you know whatever is hot right now is the is the uh, the person that that they're pointing to as the best. You know, it's it's been uh, an array of different folks that you can have that conversation about. Cejudo now because of what he's done in multiple divisions and because of his Olympic prowess, um, that that holds a lot of weight. And and I've actually been checking out some of his his coaching and some of his theory on MMA. I think he's a real intelligent student of the sport, uh, which I like to see. Max Holloway, he just got the job done over there in Kansas City. What do you think it's going to take for him to compete for the featherweight strap? Again, we know he's had his opportunities against Volkanovski. Well, uh, I tell all these guys, and I'm the one to, to you know, point to as a, an example. You have to just keep knocking him down. They line him up, you knock him down, that's how you get your opportunities. People can say, oh, uh, what about you know, you already had this shot, you already had that shot. Just keep winning because the guys that deserve their shot, if they can beat you, that's a different animal. What are you telling Songa Donkeys headlining his first UFC fight night? You know where he stacks in the division. Is he one or two victories away from getting his opportunity at a gold strap fighting for that title? I think so. You know, we had a, an amazing fight against San Hagen. Um, Song was literally sliced open early in the fight, and then he had a a severe eye injury with a broken bone and so he had no vision in the, in the later part of that fight uh, and uh, and so I'm excited to see him ready to make a statement again I feel like that could have been a, a fight that would have put him in the in the title contention so this one maybe maybe one more and then I think we'll be hearing his name in the in the lineup this past weekend Tank Davis Ryan Garcia big boxing fight 
in Las Vegas, T-Mobile Arena, Conor McGregor, he made an appearance, and then he was over at the roulette tables afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You saw that. <laughs> Is he actually going to be fighting Michael Chandler end of this summer, this year, ultimate fighter to cap things off? Do you think we see McGregor back in the action? I think so. I think we will. You know, he's, uh, look, he's doing it for the right reasons. I'll say that. He's got plenty of money. He's got plenty of, uh, you know, worldly goods and notoriety. Uh, but there's a reason why he's a fighter in the first place because he has that itch and desire to test himself. And I think, um, hopefully, <laughs> he, he, was, he looked pretty intense when he was talking to Ryan Garcia. Uh, hopefully, he reels it in and gets a great training camp in. I actually uh, had a, a few interactions with him, and he said this ultimate fighter season was going to be a whole different animal because he was going to use it for his training camp and he's going to be dialed in and and it's a whole new him and you know i believe he believes that so uh you know the guy's a manifest machine he, he can make things happen and um i think we'll see him back final message for all the california kid fans out there worldwide uh just enjoy life this is the uh the right now is the time to be so make sure you're enjoying right now He's the pro, I'm the schmo, Team Alpha Male. We're out.